Okay, John Lewis, thanks for joining us for Sussex TV. Uh, the news that you've become the new Sussex bowling coach uh, to be released this week, um, but obviously that means that you've uh, retired from the game. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, um, well, it came about really in the middle of last season. I spoke to Mark about um, my future as a player, and we, we both agreed that uh, I was getting probably a little bit uh, long in the tooth for to keep playing um, uh, to, the, to the extent I had been, obviously, over the last... Uh, 20, 21 years, 21 seasons, so it's a, a long, long time. And um, he, he, he talked about the potential of um, becoming the bowling coach here, which is something I was really excited about. Uh, it was an opportunity to to grow myself as a as a as a coach, and at such a such a lovely club, a, a great club that's passionate about their, their cricket and to totally focused on on becoming a better cricket team. So I felt I felt that I made a real good. Um, connection with the, the coaches and the players here and that I might have the uh, opportunity to, to help grow them further in the future. A long and established career and um, obviously playing for England as well. Um, some career highlights? Wow. Uh, I suppose you know you, you, your ambitions are always to play at the highest level and I was lucky enough to play all three formats uh, for England. Um, to play in a test match was uh, was a wonderful experience, you know. And unfortunately, only got the chance to play one, um, and, uh, and that was. The, but that was still such a great experience for me to, to do that to play, uh, which I feel is the hardest thing to do. Play test cricket, to play one time was 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 an amazing achievement. I felt, you know, over over my career that I I squeezed every single bit of of me as a cricketer out. So I feel like I've, I've finished without. Um, Without any regrets and without any uh, sort of on my terms, if you, if you like, and which is always a, a really nice way to to, to finish. Um, you know, I had some some brilliant times at Gloucestershire through the the, the time around the turn of the millennium. I think around 1999, 2000, 2001, 2002, and we won a, we won a hat full of, uh, of one-day competitions. And you know, I played for a long time for Gloucestershire, and I'd be obviously eternally grateful to to them and 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 their their supporters for the support that I, that I got in the time and the fun times that I had there. The coaching is obviously going to be massively different to playing, um, certainly on a day-to-day -day basis, but how do you think the challenges will be different? Well, you just have to start thinking about yourself for, 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 a, for a start. You, know? <laughs> so, um, you, you have to focus on everyone else. Um, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been doing some work now for, with the guys for more in the planning, planning for what they're doing for the winter over the last sort of two, three, four weeks. And um, it's it's very very different. You, know, you you spend a lot more time thinking, planning, preparing than you did as a player, uh, because you've you've got so many more people to think about. You know, it's a it's a, a very varied role. My my role is um, is very much to to look after the, the the professionals, which is probably about half half of my role. The other half of my role is to to grow and develop young Sussex bowlers. Um, which is a really exciting thing for me to do, and we've got a, a group of, of young guys underneath the, um, the professional staff who have got lots of potential. Um, however, it's my job to make sure that potential grows into into really highly skilled cricketers and, um, and ready to play first team cricket as soon as, as soon as possible. And so there's a, a real long term um, agenda there for me to to look after and, and to get my teeth stuck into, which is which is really exciting for me. Yeah, I mean, for some of those younger guys, it's going to be quite a, quite a challenge to get into the team, isn't it, at the moment? With their, obviously, a couple of new signings, Tamar Mills and Asmar Shazad, and obviously uh, McGoffin and Andy and some of the more established bowlers. So um, it's looking like a strong bowling unit, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a, a strong squad. You know, it's a large squad, but it's a strong squad. You know, there was definite need for us to add some some numbers, and we've added those. Not only we've added numbers, we've added quality as well, and different sorts of bowlers to we've got, we've got already. You know, time out. Is, um, is an extremely exciting prospect. He bowls very, very fast, and my job is to is to, to get him to bowl as consistently fast and into consistently fast into a consistently good area as much as I possibly can. And if if we can do that and, and we can help him and grow him, then I feel that he's got a, a real chance of of flying in his career. He's a uh, a hugely talented young man. Um, with Ajmal, you know, he's a, a guy who's 
he's had a little bit of a stop-start career so far. You know, he's really got up to the highest level and, and played well at that level. And again, it's my job to try and get him back up to those those levels and really reproduce the form that saw, saw him get picked for England. You know, and then com combine those guys with the guys that we already had here, which was a, a really good group of sh strong bowlers that performed really well over quite a long period of time and got us to a position where we can consistently finish towards the top of the championship. You know, there's a that's a, again a really exciting group of people to work with, and then flip that a little bit into how we performed in one day cricket, there's room for us to really grow because we haven't performed to our best. So there's a lot for me to do, um, but it's a really exciting group of guys to work with and, and I'm, I'm thoroughly excited about, uh, about uh, the challenge that lies ahead of us. And the winter plans now, now you're working with the guys at Hove, but obviously there's a couple of pre-season tours coming up um, New Year and, and sort of from then onwards. Um, so how does that fit into your, um, your schedule with the guys now? Well, we'll be building towards the season. You know, we've got uh, the thing about county cricket is we've got a nice break period, so you can really plan, debrief, review, and go on and and and, and grow guys and make them better. Um, so the plan is to is to do that over the early part of next year. Um, we go away to Desert Springs for a bowling camp. I think mid to late February. We come back and then we have a week or two here, and then we go off to Abu Dhabi to play play some competitive cr cricket. Um, in, uh, in March and then we're back and we're into the season so it's uh, it will come around very quickly so it's, ma it's, it's really important for me to make sure that everything's planned out and very thoroughly prepared prepare the guys for the for the um, the season that's, that's coming forward for us because it's like like we talked about a little bit earlier so there's, there's a lot of new challenges and a lot of new faces and and a lot of exciting times I think ahead for, for Sussex. Brilliant thanks John and best of luck. Brilliant.